But chess pays zero. <laughs> uh, now, we have a list of the top. <laughs> oh my God. They aren't wrong, though. They aren't wrong. But is this actually true? I mean, we see it all the time. Chess players are freaking loaded. Like, let's look at the Botes sisters, for example. They just bought a house. Look at this thing. It's like a mansion. It's freaking huge. So how can this be true? In this video, I hope to answer that question. Today, we will be exploring how do chess players actually make their money. P.S. Watch till the end and I'll show you how you can do it. Now, I know that chess isn't an eSport, but I'm going to act like chess is an eSport. Let's compare chess to one of the biggest eSports in the world, Fortnite. Not going to lie, I'm kind of cracked at Fortnite. Anyways, very, very quickly, there's two main sides to the Fortnite earners, the pros and the content creators. The pros directly make money from in-game events and tournaments, but what I'm actually interested in is the content creators. You see, the content creators find a way to make the game more enjoyable to watch than it is even to play, through tools such as their commentary and their video editing. These creators are then able to upload these videos onto platforms like YouTube and finally reach the ultimate goal, monetization. So how does this apply to chess? Obviously, there are the top about 20 players who make a decent amount, like the Fortnite pros we just talked about. They make their money directly from chess tournaments and other big events. Then there's the other side, the big ones. Gotham Chess, the Botez sisters, Anna Kramling. They make videos and monetize them this way. Hikaru even managed to do both, earn from the content and from the pro play. So now we understand exactly how do they do it. The key is content creation. The key to content creation. Content creation has multiple parts. The first step is the most simple, ad revenue. Most commonly done on YouTube, ad revenue allows a creator to make money from the content that they post via ads. However, there are a few requirements that a creator has to reach, such as 1,000 subscribers. Subscribe so that I can get monetized. This gives the creator a steady source of income, and that income will continue to grow over time as their channel grows as well. The second step, sponsorships. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Sponsorships are when a company pays you to promote their product in some way during your video. Often these are done to much bigger channels and they give a quick bonus to the content creator. YouTubers like Mr. Beast still use sponsorships to help fund their videos. A central theme that the content creators take advantage of is leveraging their audience. Sponsorships allow a YouTuber to leverage their fan base to serve another company via free marketing and make some money in return. It's a win for both sides. The third step is to create a brand. This is the biggest tenor. A brand involves creating some sort of product that your audience can buy. Most often this is done with something like merch. I think that looking at Mr. Beast again would be beneficial for learning about this. His brand is so big that he has launched multiple companies. He started Feastables, Beast Burger, and he's dropped countless lines of merch. Mr. Beast has not only mastered the art of growing on YouTube, but has also perfected the skill of leveraging his fan base and his popularity. And if we want to be like him, this is what we have to do too. So how can you do it? The first thing that you need to do, if you truly want to go down this path, is to just start right now. Make a video, upload it, and stick with it. Study creators like Mr. Beast and how he's done so well. I personally love watching all the podcasts he's done during my free time and learning everything that I can from them. Other creators also exist for the sole reason of aiming to help you grow your channel, like Marcus Jones, for example. He's been very helpful for me personally. He teaches about the specific process of growing your channel, but there are also others to teach about thumbnails and editing. And even if the whole YouTube thing doesn't quite work out, the skills that you learn in the process are invaluable. Learning how to video edit, understanding how to make an appealing thumbnail, and knowing how to get the attention of an audience are all crucial skills in life. Build your channel. Now that you've gotten some very brief background information on how this all works, let's start to brainstorm your content. Every creator has to bring something new to the table. They have to make their content different from everyone else and more engaging to keep people from wandering off to some other video. So pick a specific niche. This could be anywhere from the absolute brilliant guide to every chess opening imaginable to something much more simple like funny chess clips. Let's go with the opening theorists. Do your first video on something everyone knows a bit about. That way it's easier to introduce and to jump straight into. Maybe go over the most common chess opening of all time, the Italian game. All the theory, all of the ins and outs, you are the theorist after all. But you have to add some sort of twist. Remember, be different, be polarizing, be controversial. So maybe say something shocking, something like, Why everyone's favorite chess opening actually sucks. 
So go do it. Start your channel, get on that grind, and if you do ever become famous, remember to give me a shout out. So how do I even know all this, and why am I qualified to talk about it? Well, I'm actually currently doing this. I've really locked in on my channel since about January of this year, 2024, and I'm almost halfway to being monetized. Like and subscribe so that I can actually reach this goal. I would say for the resources that I have, I've done a pretty good job. I mean, I'm literally editing this video on CapCut. If I can do it, then anyone can do it. But let me know, should I learn Premiere Pro and Photoshop? What videos should I make in the future? I want to try my best to improve my content in any way. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.